We got three former champions already here in the semifinals looking for a shot at a repeat performance and a repeat championship. We've got in our first match, Dog playing Tetris. Do I even have to introduce Dog playing Tetris? I don't, but I will because I don't know, maybe someone's watching who's never heard of Dog playing Tetris. Dog playing Tetris is the reigning Classic Tetris World Championship champion. Back to back 20, uh, 2020 and 2021, the online years or whatever it will be referred to in history. Dog playing Tetris from Texas in America. And uh, he'll be facing answer to question Dylan. Maybe uh, one of the most surprising players to make it here to the semifinals. When you see the uh, opponents that, that uh, Dylan had to defeat on his way here, it was Tristop. And Dylan defeated Tristop in a sweep, three games to none. And the reigning Classic Tetris Monthly Masters Champion, Cheese, was defeated by Dylan in round two. So uh, a couple of heavyweights defeated by Dylan uh, on the way here to the semifinals. A big task for Dylan to take on uh, Dog Playing Tetris, who, by the way, is also... What a three-time CTM champion as well. That's going to be our first match. Classic Tetris Monthly Masters event. The semifinals between Dog Playing Tetris and Answer to Question. Starting in... Three, two, one, Tetris. Chris011 says, Excited to finally watch CTM Live. Well, we are excited... To have you here and thanks for joining us. And uh, just to note, if you are watching this on YouTube, we will put a link in the description box if you too would like to contribute to the prize pool. Uh, if it's still in the description box, then it is still available to be contributed to. And you are part of this, and we love your support. I kid around with my YouTube audience quite often, but... You know, I love you, and I always have. <laughs> and I thank you all for taking it in stride, and in the spirit in which it is intended. All right, dog. Gonna Tetris here for 70 thousand and fifty one thousand here for dylan dealing with a little bit of cleanup trying to avoid putting long bars over on the right side but ends up having to do it anyway as the game feeds him a steady diet <laughs> chris says weird to watch this at one time speed i watch them all at 2x yeah i do a lot of 2xing on youtube Probably a little too much. Sometimes it's good to just enjoy things at the speed that they happen. You know, you don't need to have your enjoyment be at the maximum speed. I think there's something about just the natural tempo and rhythm. And it's good for you. 143 for Doug. A little bit of a parity issue in the top of the stack. Has to end up uh, taking a burn, gets a T, and a few pieces here to open the well again. So just waiting on that long bar, 147. And 109 for Dylan. Dog going to get that Tetris 169. And another one for Dog, 192. Dylan trying to uncover. And just taking the burns. Now, we do not have same piece sets in this match because uh, they just weren't available. Players do have to have a uh, special uh, uh, modification in order to make that happen. And if they don't all have it happen, then it's just not an option. But, you know, if anybody wants to mail these players what they need to make it happen, uh, that is, you know, feel feel free to do it. 262, dog, he's going to Tetris 285 here through 62 lines. 
Dylan getting up a little bit near the medium high part of the board, but no problem, gonna open it up. And bang, Tetris for Dil uh, Dylan. All right, we'll see if Dylan's gonna make a Tetris out of this. Nope, I'm just gonna take the triple and transfer the well over to the right. Bang, Tetris for Dog 332, Dylan Tetris 239. See dog with a poster uh, in the room there. It's like a yearbook poster from one of the years of contributing, uh, contributing, participating. Sorry, in CTWC and the, of course, the last two years he's the winner of that event, which uh, is considered in some circles to be the world championship of this sport <laughs> in every circle. Tetris for Dog, 386 through 89 lines, 308 for Dylan. Dylan, of course, as mentioned on the opening of the broadcast, defeating Tristop and Cheese, the most recent winner of CTM. Oh, Dylan going to adjust that L piece back into the stack to make room for the incoming long bar. So 376 Dylan, 455 Dog playing Tetris. Dylan back by about three and a half Tetrises. But more pieces on the board, so can make up some of this a little more quickly. Tetris for Dog, 479, and there's one for Dylan. And another one, Dylan, 444. So, oh, and another one. So back by 12,000 points. But Dog has basically two Tetrises set up already. So a couple long bars uh, would pull out to a lead again pretty quick. 506, there's one of them for Dog and another one. I feel like Dylan's been getting a little bit RNG'd this uh, game. Just kind of the piece is not exactly matching uh, what his stack can accommodate, but that is part of the game. Oh, Dylan's going to rip that T over to the left just like that. No problem. And good tapping from Dylan. 501 for Dylan. 598 here on 19 for Dog playing Tetris. Dylan going to transition 526. And a couple of Tetrises here. For Dylan, dog uh, building on top of some garbage, but still low enough. Now, dog uh, does appear to be tapping, and we've seen dog in recent days kind of switch to rolling uh, as level 28 approaches. So we'll see if that uh, if that still happens. Uh, DMJ says, why do I mention pieces on the board? Well, just in terms of pace. It's a pace issue. Because you basically have Tetris's ready to go and waiting while the other player, if they have fewer pieces on the board, uh, they do not have those. 692 for Dog. Still trying to clear out of this. 620 for Dylan. Trying to build up for another Tetris, and we'll be ready for it. And bang, Tetris, Dylan, 651. Seven twenty-seven for Dog, 679 for Dylan here. Level 23, players separated by two lines. And about two Tetrises. All right, dog gonna clear away some uh, some garbage and get a couple Tetris's 824. Dylan trying to make do. Pumpy Heart with the cheer, 100 bits. Thank you so much, Feel Strong Bear. And Paula, Paula R. Bear with the subscription. Thank you so much for subscribing to Classic Tetris Monthly. It really helps and I appreciate it. 
feeling good right now. I gotta tell you, I am feeling very, very good. 921 dog, 838 for Dylan. Dylan having to take a couple of burns, no problem. Bang Tetris, level 26 uh, for Dylan, 27 for Dog. Dog is one away from the max out. That's the million points. That seemed so difficult to get. You can see Dog switching grips. Let me see if I can get, yeah, that's not, I can't get that in there, no big deal. But you can see Dog switching to rolling. He's got the glove. Bang Tetris, Dog, A56. Dylan having to take a few burns, still on 27. Stack getting up a little high and still having to take more burns and just the game not giving. Tetris for Dylan and the max out. Dog's got the 1.1 here on 29. Dylan with the dirty Tetris in column seven. And we'll see what Dylan is able to do post 28. And so far, okay. So we'll see. And oh no, a couple of missed drops there. Dylan gonna top out at A36. Dog is good on level 30 and gets heart number one. GG's 1.1 versus max out in the semifinals, just as you would expect. Dog into level 31. And a great performance from Dylan to max out in competition. And you can say, oh, max out, whatever, but. It is not easy to max out in competition. And you'll do well if you max out every single game in competition. You will you will you will have some results. All right, we got a couple of ready players and it is now time for game number 2. Here we go. 3 to 1 Tetris Dog playing Tetris versus Answer to Question. Game 2. All right, it's a lot of S's here at the beginning for Dog. Dylan on the board with the first Tetris. And Dog getting built up uh, here for several while he waits for a long bar, or not several, but he's got a lot of pieces on the board here. Finally gets the Tetris. Oh, gets that long bar over to the left. With the tap, that is tapping, folks. You don't have to be a roller to get stuff over like that. I mean, it's still possible with tapping. And, you know, we've seen, you know, Alex T, still you know, one of the fastest tappers ever, able to get pieces over like that. And Dog kind of playing with us a little bit and getting pieces over there again. And where is the long bar for a dog? Has to take a burn, so this will take a little bit of work to bring this down. But, oh yeah, getting a couple of great pieces, and oh my god, all the right pieces to do it, and score Tetris, so there you go. Blessed by RNG, 99,000 for dog, 116 for Dylan, and now another Tetris, 139 for Dylan. Yeah, I am feeling really, really good. It's crazy what few simple dietary changes can do to your clarity and your mood. All right, Tetris for Dog. And another one, 192, taking the lead over Dylan. But uh, now Dylan taking the lead right back. And they're even in line, so Dylan with the pace lead right now. What's going on, Sam the Speedrunner? I am very well. Hope you're doing well. Oh, there's a nice square for Dylan to fill in that little, kind of an awkward board, but getting it all filled in. Good adjustment there to make room for the L. Tetris for dog 242. And there's one for Dylan 261. So Dylan's still in the pace lead. Dog with the Vitz pending. 
Yeah, it just needs to open it up and get the long bar. There's one. And it just needs one more. And the game being very stingy for it, dog. And yeah, a little bit of a drought, so you're gonna have to start taking some burns here. Oh, gets that T over. So risky, Bisky. Oh, and that T placement, and then the long bar. Crazy. Crazy for a dog. I mean, this guy just keeps getting better and better. And when you think someone can't surprise you, they do. That's why he's uh, one of the goats. There are multiple goats, and he is one of them. 319 for dog, 375 for Dylan. And another Tetris dog, and he, he seems pleased. <laughs> All right, Dylan trying to... Okay, gets the long bar. There it is. And one for dog. Uh, so all that burning up top uh, has led to dog being uh, to getting a few extra lines. So he is ahead in lines. Dil almost about a full level's worth. Ten lines worth of lines. Oh, Dylan can't get the Z spin tuck. So that's going to cause... A little bit of extra burning here. We'll see how efficiently you can get out of it. That's a great long bar for trying to get out of things. And we'll see. He just ends up having a... You just don't want to put too much weight on too many holes. And that was not the line spin. That was the wrong direction for the line spin. That is the fake line spin. And he got deked. 483 for Dog Playing Tetris, 452 Dylan. Dylan's still burning. T-spin set up, bang, T-spin. There we go. Yeah, that that T-spin, that uh, line spin would have been valid in Game Boy Tetris, but not in NES Tetris. All right, Dog, 528, 10 lines to go until the 19 transition. Dylan, 20 lines to go until the 19 transition, so... Dylan's still with the pace lead. And can you believe this, guys? I am missing a class to bring this event to you. The great sacrifices that are made to bring Tetris to the fans. 548 Dylan, 122 lines. And Dog with the... Tetris 579 transition for dog. Dylan piling pieces, ripping them over to the left. It never ceases to impress me. You can get pieces over like that. And Dylan getting droughted, so gonna have to take a double here. It's gonna leave him over with a one long bar. 575. So ends up dog having the better pace going into 19. And 614 for dog here on 20. 623 for Dylan on 19. But you can see Dog ahead by 12 lines, bank Tetris for each. Uh-oh, 666 on Dog's board. Oh, my word. Very scary. All right, dealing with a little bit of uh, cleanup to do. Oh, he's going to miss those S's, and that's going to sort of cascade into a comedy of errors. It's not very funny if you're him, though, I'm sure. Oh, it misses the T, so I'm not exactly sure... What's happening over on Dylan's side, but really a series of misdrops is kind of out of nowhere. And now Dylan is scrambling up near the top of the board. Oh, gets the J over to the left. And trying to do something with that flat long bar. Not going to happen. Dylan going to top out at 659. And Dog is good here on level 23 with 760. GG's. That was game two. All right, Dog Playing Tetris says ready, and Dylan is ready with the hover three. Let us count it down. Three, two, one, Tetris. Oh, which site? Resubs, tier one, three month subscriber. Thank you so much, which site? I think that puts you on Team Blue, right? You've got the blue check mark now. And Ellery Stacks with the follow. Thank you so much for the follow. 
All right, a little adjustment there for Dylan to make the tuck for uh, setting up the first Tetris. And, you know, while you're following things, you know, why don't you follow the YouTube channel? That helps, too. All right, Dog really having to fling pieces over to the left early in the match. So not happy with that circumstance. When Dog's not happy, you can you can tell. <laughs> uh, he can shake his head with the best DAS players. All right, but Doug's going to bring this down. 78,000 here through 23 lines. 57,000 for Dylan. Oh, which site says I came from YouTube? So welcome. Oh, I love that adjustment from Dylan. And a little delayed burn here with the long bar to open up the right side. Column 10 well and bang Tetris for Dylan. 104 and the early lead. Doug going to take it back, though, so... And Dylan's going to take it back. So neck and neck is what we call that. There's a Tetris Dylan and one for Dog. All right, there you go. Loving that Z piece to open up the well and bang Tetris Dog. Is that, um, is Dog wearing a classic Tetris gauntlet shirt, Sharky? Is that, is that something having to do with gauntlet? I don't know what that is. I just look at fire and I think, oh, Dog, like Sharky loves to put fire and stuff in his, uh, in his setups and graphic design. I don't know. It's a gauntlet shirt. Cool. All uh, right, one of the rare times we don't see, uh, Dog wearing his own merch. Oh, there we go. Adjustment for Dog with the long bar. And a couple of nice pieces, square long bar to fill everything in. All right, some adjustments here for Dog. 275 Dog, 270 for Dylan. Dylan doing some burning as well. So neither player really able to capitalize on the burning of the other player. Uh, which sounds a lot worse than it is. Oh, adjustment for the square for dog. Very nice. 298 for a dog. Tetris for a Dylan. 299. And dog will fire back with another Tetris. Uh, Sharky says that's a shirt from last season. Oh, my God. We're not even wearing the current season's fashions. Oh, my God. What a faux pas. What a fashion faux pas. <laughs> All right, 344 for Dylan, 392 for the dog who is playing Tetris. And not quite sure about that long bar. Not sure if uh, dog was sure about that long bar. So that's going to lead to a little bit of uh, extra burning there. Dylan up high and getting a Tetris 368. But dog is now open again. Let's see how he's going to resolve all this. No problem. Oh, look at that adjustment for dog with a J to make room for the square. Beautiful. And there we go with the J-spin. And Dog's got a clean board again. A little spiry, but no problem when you get long bars to take care of it. And Dylan with the Tetris. So back by one line and 7,000 points. This is pretty darn close. And speaking of shirts, you know, you can check out the merch command here. Classic Tetris Monthly. And uh, you can get yourself... A shirt, uh, probably the best ones, I think. I think the best ones are from the Extreme Sports with the Berenstain Bears World Championship. We've also got the D-Sider ones, which are brand new and amazing. Adjustment for Dylan, that looked crazy. So yeah, brand new D-Sider shirts made by a professional graphic designer who just approached us and said, Hey, I made this designer shirt graphic thing. Do you want to use it? I'm like, yeah, okay. And he's like, well, you want to pay me? I'm like, well, all right. So I did. 
So I think we need to sell about six shirts to break even on that design. So if you wouldn't mind, if you like shirts and you need to cover your torso in polite society, consider buying that shirt. All right, 591 for Dog Playing Tetris. 560 here on 19 for Dylan. And bang, Tetris Dylan. Oh, Fireworks saying uh, his shirt gets here Friday. Oh, there, the, the five below there for Dylan. And Tetris, 637. Dylan is back by about four lines. And about 33,000 points. Tetris for dog. Dylan trying to force a game four, but is playing from behind right now. But it's actually, actually, it's it's kind of even because he's back by a few lines. And if only he could get the long bar. And no, ends up having to give in and take the burn. But there's a long bar bank Tetris for Dylan. 724, still on level 22. Dog into level 23. And, uh, yeah, these players already receiving a good sizable chunk of what is a sizable prize pool. So it's great that we're able to do that for the players. So thanks again to everybody who helped make that happen. All right, dog here trying to uncover the ceiling over the well. Does so and is open. Dylan into the lead and back by seven lines. So Dylan has been very efficient while dog has been burning. So Dylan is in the lead, 870 and dog, 828. And dog having to kind of fill out from the side some tucks here. Going to do it, 891. So Dylan with the pace lead and the score lead at the moment. Bank Tetris for dog to get into... Uh, the score lead, but I'd say Dylan still has the lead in pace if he can convert on some of this. But a missed drop from Dylan, and that could be very costly. It's so hard to make really any mistake, uh, especially this late in the game against this competitor and dog playing Tetris. Dylan, Tetris, 946, and another one, 978. So, And there's one back from dog, 997. The max out about to happen. On both player side, dogs switching grips. And there's the max out from Dylan here on 27. Back by five lines. Setting up aggro with the long bar, column nine. Knows he's going to need every single point he can muster. Dog already with the 1.1. 1. 1, one Tetris to go until the level 29 transition. And there is the Tetris from Dog. Not a perfectly clean board, but should be workable. B39 on 29 for Dog. This board is not the easiest one to deal with, but patience could bring it down. Dylan with the 1.1 here on 28. One Tetris to go. Dual 1.1s. There's the Tetris for Dylan. Dog's board breaking down. B46. Top out Dylan in the lead and will take game three. On 29, staying close enough and just able to eke out one last Tetris. And Dylan will get the heart. Game four, dog up two games to one. And semifinal number one. Three to one, Tetris. That's right, my current nutritional activities have, oh, a diuretic effect. So there may be a couple of breaks throughout this thing. My apologies. Thanks for the follow, Chris011, and thanks for the follow, Aesthetic Performance. You, you all weren't following before? Well, thanks for doing it now. <laughs> Please keep that part in the YouTube video. I made a special effort to say that <laughs> during the time when the YouTube video would, that would be captured by the YouTube video. So I don't know, just memeing a little bit. I mean, one of the things that you find that you've got to do as uh, one of the ringleaders of the, you know, one of the largest uh, Tetris organizations and is you have to speak in copy pasta. You have to continually create opportunities to 
for people to meme on you. It's important. I try to speak, I try to type in Discord only in copy pasta. Well, or at least pr predominantly. Something that could easily be copied and repeated. <laughs> A blue ring likes the term bling, uh, ring leader. You have to, you have to give your oper your uh, your community ample opportunity to make fun of you. I think. One forty two here for Dylan. One forty eight for Dog here in the early goings. Both players have had uh, their travails early, but it's okay. Making it work. Nice long bar for Dylan would be great. I'm sure. But going to take the triple for the burn. And there it is, the long bar for Dylan. No problem. 175 uh, for Dylan. 176 for the dog. Tetris dog, 221. Dylan at 221. Same lines. All right, there we go for dog. <laughs> and, <laughs> and of course, there is copy pasta in the chat of Twitch. All right, same score separated by one line. It's amazing how math works. And Tetris for Dylan, 313. And same situation again. Dylan going to break it with a Tetris. Oh, nice adjustment to make room for the J Tuck. And then gets the T, and it's like, it's like uh, that little T formation never happened. All right, Dylan with the delayed burn here, trying to keep that Tetris well open and Dog uh, fixing all this stuff up. That looked very complicated and resolved very quickly for Dog. Too, uh, too good for my puny mind to comprehend. Tetris for Dog 362-900 and Dylan 362-900 <laughs> still. So, multi I mean, super, you can't get any closer. Well, I mean, technically you could it would be difficult to do without premeditation. All right, Tetris Dog 408, Dylan 431 here through 94 lines. All right, Dylan up a little bit high on the board. And that was the wrong L, but all right, gonna open up that side of the board, filling in, gonna take the triple. You don't love, it's one time you don't love to have to take the triple, but it's like you just wish the long bar would come. All right, Doug setting up, he's got the dirty triple and he's gonna open up the right side and be ready for the Tetris. And in the lead is Dog by a small margin. Dylan, super Bernie, but there you go, Tetris. You know, there are so few venues on Twitch where copy pasta is encouraged. So I'm very happy to allow people to express themselves in that way. And, uh, you know, I think Classic Tetris community is, uh, they, do, they do it better than anyone else. Transition here for Dylan, 575 into 19. And Dog looking to get close to that or exceed that. And should he get a Tetris, we'll do that. There is a long bar for the Tetris. So Dog's going to have the high, slightly higher transition. Not too much higher, still neck and neck.
Tetris Dylan 632. And you can see how far Dylan is ahead in lines. Dylan at 155 lines. And Dog right now 143. So Dylan was uh, playing, you know, kind of medium high on the board for a long period of time. And there's another a couple Tetrises there for Dylan. And set up again, but having to cover, no good place for that S piece. And now it's kind of a spire. And set up dirty if you can get the quick long bar and gets a burn into the Tetris dirty for Dylan. There is a clean Tetris for Dog playing Tetris 729. Dylan at 724 on level 23. Tetris Dylan 760. Another one, Dog. And another one, Dylan. So super neck and neck in terms of score. Separated, separated by about seven lines, though. So Dog now with the pace lead and the actual lead. And another one, Dog. Dylan in cleanup. And there's a few pieces there for Dylan to get Tetris ready. And you can see just a lot of wasted burns there from Dylan and, and knows it. All right, Dylan going to use a long bar to get the Tetris. It's dependent over on the left side, no problem. H-A-O-L-K-K, -K, thanks for the follow. Hawk. I don't know how to pronounce that. All right, good T to get Tetris ready for Dylan. Tetris, 930 on 27. Dog is at 972, still in level 25. He's going to Tetris into 26. So Dog already with the max out here into 26. Time running out for Dylan. I think it's fair to say the Dog has the post-28 advantage. So Dylan just going to have to be as efficient as possible, get as much as possible, and then just see what he can build up and, and get into 29. A42 dog, A05 for Dylan. Tetris Dylan has room for one more if he can build up for it, and he has. There's the Tetris into 29 for Dylan, A76. Dog going to get the 1.1 here on 28. And Dylan just needs to stay alive long enough. Can't build up for the Tetris board. Breaking down. Dylan going to top out, and Dog will get heart number three. And will be the winner of this match in the orange and blue side of the bracket. And Dog playing Tetris going into the finals. A great effort and performance from Dylan. No shame in anything Dylan did. Maxed out in what? Three games? Four games? Whatever. I mean, 1.1s, max outs. I mean, everything you could possibly do. But right now, it's just Dog a little bit more efficient and a little bit more playability. Post-28 is what made the difference for Dog. And Dog, yeah, going to the finals. Dylan, thank you so much. Hope to see you here again. Congratulations for getting this far and uh, for getting a cut of the prize pool. And hope to see you again. Hey, everybody. This is your old pal, Van Dweller, host of Classic Tetris Monthly. If you like this video, hit thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like it, please subscribe and bang that notification bell. And follow us on Twitch at twitch.tv slash monthly Tetris. Thank you and have a nice day.